Hey, welcome back to the block party challenge. Uh, today I'm doing a family home, just one child, so two bedrooms. Uh, I end up uh, getting rid of that porch. I didn't end up liking the design on such a small lot. I wanted there to be at least a little bit of, you know, yard. There isn't, there doesn't end up being a ton, but hey, there's a little bit to work with. And again, it's just a starter family home, so if you end up staying here forever, you probably don't really care about the yard. So that works out. I struggled a little bit with figuring out just what I wanted to do. Didn't really have an idea, just kind of started building and, and here we are. Windows trying to match that uh, door were kind of a pain, so we go through quite a few different windows throughout the whole thing. Like that window in the front will change. But it all works out, and I think it ends up looking pretty good. Got to end up moving the house there to give a little bit of a front yard to put some flowers and stuff out that you'll see near the end here. Uh, windows, I did end up figuring out some windows for the rest of the house. It's just that front one that's kind of a pain. Um, but as soon as I start doing the kitchen, I, I figure something out, and I think it ends up looking pretty good. Went for the dark contrast on the porches there thought that looked pretty nice and fencing again a little bit limited and difficult but end up going with a matching white to match the trim and whatnot on the windows and stuff uh, just I can't make up my mind on the porch tried to do a roof was not working it was just it ended up looking like garbage um, right there eventually I do figure it out and work it out but uh, for now, it, it stays that way. <laughs> Onto the inside, squaring off rooms and the bathroom, and uh, just putting a door on that back porch, getting all the essentials so you're, you know, you can actually use the house. That's a good plan. Uh, next, doing some flooring, some nice wood floors and carpet in the bathroom. I end up really liking the way this kitchen turns out. Um, kind of some angular things. It looks good. Uh, I end up going with a darker color for the kitchen, uh, cabinet-wise, uh, and I do end up changing the wallpaper in the kitchen, I think. Could be wrong. Uh, I do end up changing the kids' room, though, that's for sure, and the bathroom here. I did, I, it's so difficult to find uh, something that ma actually matches that tile that really looks nice with it. So I do like the tile. It's just difficult to... Uh, work with. We'll put it that way. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. I like things to look a certain way and I, if I don't like the house, uh, I'm, I'm gonna scrap it. I, if I won't play in it, I'm gonna scrap it because I feel like if there's no playability, it's not worth even building really. And here we go again with the roof. I end up going with that. I think it looks pretty nice. It's a little different, especially compared to the last house. Uh, working on the bathroom, trying to get some different colors in there other than just white, but we we do go with a lot of a, a black and white kind of theme, um, especially in the, the kitchen here and in the bathroom. Uh, gotta get a little rug, of course. What are you gonna do with those puddles? Getting lights. Alright, now we're into the kitchen. And I, I do spend a little bit of time working on the kitchen. I end up removing that half wall because of the weird shadowing on the top. It was, uh, again, if I won't play in it and I can't use it myself, I'm not going to even bother keeping it or posting it or uploading it to the gallery, um, which you can get this house on the gallery. Uh, my name on the gallery is Samantha Sims. So if you'd like to play with it, it's right there for you. Same with the previous build. Uh, working with the cabinets. I do end up changing the cabinet color. I thought maybe the lighter color would be a nice contrast. I end up not liking it so much, so I do end up changing it. Gotta line everything up perfect with those darn windows. But yeah, yeah, I did end up changing that. Considered the floor, but then I'm like, you know, I like that floor. I think it looks good with the counters and Whatnot, so we do end up keeping that. Scrapping curtains in the, the kitchen because, you know, in real life, uh, would, would you really want 
curtains right next to your stove? Probably not. Probably not a good idea. Working on some sinks. I was trying to find one that would um, fit without cutting into the edge of the half wall, but then I changed it. So it didn't end up mattering. Can't believe I just said mattering. That's great. All right, just trying to work out that little odd spot there in the counter. And we do end up covering that up so it doesn't look so weird against the wall. Gotta do the pile technique. And then you can freely move things, it's great. Just moving all the things, getting the flowers out from inside the cabinet, that's a good idea. Just a small little kitchen table with a toddler seat for that little, little, little baby. Tried to find something to put on the kitchen table, it just didn't work out. Like, I wanted to keep this um, house base game, and then I, I go back, you'll see in a minute, I go back and I change the candle because I'm like, oh wait, that's from Dine Out. We can't do that. I don't think I end up putting anything on the table. Oh, you know what? Maybe I did do the fruit bowl. Or I didn't. I don't know. We'll see. Gotta have that bin. You don't ever want to not have a bin. Uh, a few of these things in the bedroom here do end up going. I do end up coming back and taking them away just so that I can finish up landscaping because personally I'd rather build on the inside of my house and add new things once my sims get money and and, and just be able to leave the yard the way it is and not have to build up on that. I feel like that, that's more of an annoying thing to have to deal with personally. I wanted to go with um, a yellow theme for the kids room. Not your typical pink or purple or anything. Uh, I did place down a kids bed at the beginning just to show that, you know, yes, it's a toddler's room, but it's real simple to put the kids bed in there. You will have to use move objects on to place the bed, the children's bed back, uh, because of the nightmare nightlight behind the headboard there. But getting some little things for a toddler just to start out. You can buy the tablet once your sims make some money and whatnot. So just little, little basics to get those skills up in, in case uh, you play on normal mode or whatnot. Just getting some fine little detailing. I love to put the moon and the cloud above the kids' beds because it's like nighttime when they go to sleep and I just, I think it's really cute. Uh, the living room was a little bit of a pain at first. Um, I do figure it out and it, I think it ends up looking way better than what this looks like. I was a little concerned with the kids' room door being blocked, so I was like, I need to figure something else out. We gotta do something different. Um, I do I do like the angle at which the TV ends up sitting in the, the living room. I think it looks nice and it works out pretty good. Uh, full mobility around the house. It's perfect. But this house is, uh, again, on a three sim budget. It's cheap, it's affordable, it has everything your sims need to start. Um, it, it works out really well, I think, personally. And I think it ends up looking pretty nice. Um, you, you can add some paintings and whatnot and decoration as you progress. Um, I do end up getting rid of that family portrait because I realized that uh, you had to download Sims Mobile to have that. So for anyone who hasn't, I did remove it. When it's on the gallery, it is not going to have that in it. And in the final walkthrough of the build, you're not going to see that anywhere. I did end up going in and taking it out because because of the fact that I wanted it to be purely base game and and the for some reason the filter kept changing and unsetting. Um, I I don't know about most people, but I do like the fine detailing of the dirt. I'm not the greatest at doing it, but I'm getting better, so that's good. Uh, I feel like sometimes it ends up being really bold in some places and not bold enough in other places but that's okay no big deal when you end up going in to do landscape um, it does end up covering up some of that so that's nice if you like the the dirt line around your foundation and things if you're not very good at it you could just put bushes and stuff around it that works too 
and then you don't have to have such fine little detailing um, because I don't know I don't know I like the thinner look where you it's not like BAM there's dirt right in your face anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and you have a great day